Greetings and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, where the glorious, the magnificent, the greatest nation on earth, the Mexican Socialist Republic, continues to stand against the bourgeois elites of the world. And most specifically of all, of course, the United States, where our border war is continuing fiercely. And by continuing, I of course mean is about to resume after an unexplained hiatus. Hello! We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a reporte especial, live from the People's Revolutionary Palace in Mexico City. You are watching M S C T the Mexican Socialist Television Network. And now I give you our glorious leader, Mr. Dino Enka. Greetings, glorious and most magnificent people and friends of the Mexican Socialist Republic. I, Dino Enka, your most beneficent leader, speak to you now to put pay to these vicious rumors and misinformations that have been spread by our bourgeois enemies, that I was killed by their operatives, or that I defected against my beloved people, and even those rumors that I would do terrible things to soft fluffy animals like the kitten, or even our very own Serke, the cutest rodent in all of the world, it's a beautiful thing. But no, my friends, these rumors are entirely false, and I refute them even now as I speak to you. For as you can plainly hear, I am not dead. No, my friends, I am alive and well, and my absence these last two weeks is of course a matter of state security. But I do most humbly apologize and seek that you, my beloved people, should understand at least this that I, Dino Enka, have been working with the boffins of the MSR on some of our most secret and revolutionary projects, including, of course, Project 17. There is no Project 17. Ignore what I just said, but instead understand that we have many top secret projects which, when they come to fruition, may hold the difference between victory and defeat for the glorious Mexican Socialist Republic. Not least of which, of course, are our efforts to reach the moon with our tequila-powered rockets. Yes, my friends, this is the true explanation for my absence these last two weeks. None of these rumors and malcontent spread by our enemies. And now that you have been reassured, I return you to your regular scheduled programming. Viva Mexico! Viva the MSR! So, where was I? Um, where were we, I should say, and what were we doing? Well, we were in uh, mid-massive war with uh, the United States here. As you can see, we have the most expansive border in history. We've somehow managed to just sort of like conquer all the way up here along the uh, west coast. And, um, you know, it's good that we have captured San Francisco. I mean, look at this border. I mean... What was I thinking? What is even going on here? Look, we've, we've literally got one brave Mexican division. Here we have two brave Mexican divisions. Here we have two brave Mexican divisions. One, 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 one. Standing against just hordes of Americans. Um, we might have to think about possibly doing something about that. Um, the border continues down. We have managed to pocket this group of American troops in... Um, these regions here, this this bit of California, they're hiding in the mountains, but of course uh, they are cut off from their supplies and will no doubt soon be pining after some kind of American, poor American substitute for tequila, because obviously in a time of war they will be getting no exports of, of the true uh, nectar of the gods, which of course is Mexican tequila. Instead they'll be drinking I don't know, some kind of American drink, maybe Budweiser, or um, what's the, what is the most quintessential drink of uh, the people of the United States? Uh, all I can think now is eggnog. Is that? I mean, uh, admittedly, it's only drunk at one time of year, but I've never heard of people in any other country drinking eggnog. I'm probably going to be told now it's like a German thing or something. But anyway, I'm assuming that all these troops have left is eggnog. That's it. They have no other supplies, just 
like a load of eggnog and they're going to start drinking it and when they are truly hammered on eggnog that is when our mexican trap will be sprung and uh, these troops will press in and hopefully destroy them utterly 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 uh Gallardo magna of course is is somewhere in amongst his men here he'll be with uh, one of the unicornio divisions right up here in the north probably sealed away in some kind of um like hot house uh, with just a uh, Cuban cigar smoke pouring out like piles of tequila. I mean, he's obviously taunting um, the Americans across the border by erecting like huge monuments made of empty tequila bottles consumed by the glorious Mexican Revolutionary Army. And uh, I'm sure it is having a devastating effect on the morale of our opponents here. Um, but uh, whether that's actually going to stop them from attacking us, um, I don't know. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, anyway, they are continuing to do a jolly good work over there. As we continue along the border here, we've actually got much better strength along the main part of the border here. Um, we've got quite a lot of troops. I mean, we're still massively outnumbered, but these are Mexican revolutionary soldiers, including tanky Ultimos and tanky Maximos and other such uh, vehicles spread out. We've also got Bustamante right here, um, who appears to be planning to attack a lake. I'm not quite sure why Bustamante is planning on attacking this lake. It doesn't really seem like that will achieve a great deal for us. It might be better to maybe shift him over to like this part of the world where we're doing most of the actual fighting. We'll just call this border kind of okay. Um, shore it up a little bit maybe and then uh, and then maybe try and push up and advance our interests over here or at least shore up our defenses. Does that seem like a good idea? I think that's probably a good idea. Um, we'll do that in just a second but first let's check in the south and see how Ramon Salas, the clone brother of our glorious leader is doing um, and he's doing much better look even though he has a tiny army by comparison. I mean 19 troops to his name. Um, he has managed to conquer in fact half of them seem to be over. There's one over here uh, that must be our fleet. We've also got just a unit hanging out there. But our fleet is just in dock. Are they all knackered? Uh, they seem to be... Well, okay, like one or two of them. Very slightly damaged. But actually, I think we should get this fleet back out uh, whilst we're here. Look, it's under the command of Emiliano Musquez, brother of Louis Farrell, and uh, equally presumably boring individual. But nonetheless, um, you know, I'm sure he can, he can do a solid for us. Solid and fine work. Should we send him up into the Gulf of Mexico? Because that seems to be where it, it's all going down all the time. Naval battle, convoy lost, naval battle. The Tijuana heavy cruiser has been lost. Such losses. Such terrible losses that we have been suffering here. Admiral Paul Suarez, the canoe man himself, has been suffering uh, many, many a terrible loss. And it's mostly because of these American carriers, uh, which is... That's not ideal. Um, if we put some fighters here, look, these fighters are standing by. Can you, um, can you go in here? Oh, you can. Oh, you totally can. Air superiority missions, close air support, naval strike. In fact, you don't need to close air support. Just do naval strike and uh, air interception missions. Kamikaze strike. Oh, kamikaze strike. Strike them down with all of your vengeance and your journey possibly towards the dark side. Uh, may in the end be complete. There we go. Look, now that we've got fighter cover over the Gulf of Mexico, I expect things to change markedly um, and uh, presumably rapidly as well. Let's take um, a manual and send him up on a search and destroy mission. The second canoe fleet of Mexico is currently repairing in Panama. I'm, I'm sure they're prepared right now. I'm sure they are prepared. Um, search and destroy out here. What? Hold on. Where are you? Stay there. Um, let's... Uh, like, all right, you know what? Fine. Why don't you search and destroy along this coast um, and see what you discover whilst you're out there? I think that's fine. I think I think that will do us just fine. Anyway, we're not going to worry too much about that right now because uh, we are continuing to prepare ourselves to actually recommence this uh, great and glorious war, which is currently underway. Um, the <laughs> I thought that said clownish ass kickers. Ramon Salas and the clownish ass kickers pressing in on our enemies. Um, speaking of pressing in on our enemies, uh, let's press in on our enemies, shall we? Uh, looks like we've got a whole load of troops trying to land up here, so we should probably um, try and stop them from doing that. You can go up there whilst the remaining troops move up and conquer these people. Let's delete this so that we don't get any um, 
any funny ideas. Ramon Sales and his funny ideas about troop deployments messing up our, our attempt. That's a good job we checked here, look. Oh, they're not actually trying to invade. They're just like currently sitting on this little island. Um, but pot I'm sure they will try and invade if we give them half a chance. So it makes sense to kind of you know protect this border here a little bit. Um, and the Brazilians are busy attacking these other European uh, allies, the Brazilian Socialist Republic. And of course, um, founder, not quite founder members of the Green Dawn, but we always kind of, we always thought of them as founder members of the Green Dawn. That was always the um, ultimate destiny that we had in mind for them. So uh, I think that's probably fine. All right, um, Bustamante. I'm definitely going to bring you around here. And I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to supplement your numbers here a little bit. Let's add you. Um, also, all four of you. Sure, why not? We'll add those two. Add those two as well. Um, fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete this bizarre order here. And we're going to set up a new front line. That bit, maybe? Like that? We could bring this back around a little bit. Front line, bring this front line around to there as far as that river. Miss your barrel, we will bring your front line back there. There we go. That's going to be a better division of responsibilities. I am certain of it. And then with this kind of like added strength that we're assembling here in the form of Bustamante, um, then hopefully we will we will be in just really strong position a really strong and awesome position let's unpause it and see what effect this has because louis farrell's gonna have to replan his deployments to shore this up i think like, let's like just order these troops up here whilst just in case he doesn't think about actually you know bringing people in where they're needed because they totally are needed um and and you know needed they shall be that's looking pretty good that is looking pretty good i want to try and crush this guys here as soon as possible as soon as that eggnog has kicked in and they're like staggering around presumably convinced that it's christmas even though it's only october um by the eggnog uh, hopefully at that point we will we will be able to crush them and, and crush them utterly. look at that the boffins have finally perfected the modern tank this is excellent news hopefully we can upgrade uh, something maybe our tanky ultimos or our tanky maximos can become modern tanks um, which would be awesome but we do need to give our boffins something else to work on artillery we can maybe get advanced rocket artillery uh, land doctrines we haven't got air land battle yet 217 days to research you know what boffins the more we can use the fantastic the glorious the magnificent air power of the mexican revolutionary air uh force the better especially with our awesome uh, buck rogers flash gordon uh zorro class air interceptor rocket plane things that we've got knocking about the place um which of course everybody is just thoroughly thoroughly impressed by um this is good Insufficient resources. Yes, I, I recall that I had horrendous resource problems. I should probably actually maybe have, you know, uh, used that for extra resources instead. Un unread convoy battle raider report. Uh, we've lost another convoy. Keep losing convoys. This is so good. We don't want to lose convoys. Convoy loss is bad for everyone concerned. Um, I wonder where they're trying to hold all the way up here to this port is a good idea it might make sense to kind of pull these guys back a little bit or maybe just shift some of my power up here look if we move some tanks up let's move some tanks not not through the enemy do not move through the enemy that's a terrible onto there there we go you go up like that you go up here louis are all your troops assigned let's just assign all of his troops to his front line because i don't think all of them were assigned uh this guy here two truck chicos unassigned to any military command wow um all right then you two better be assigned to you know what just don't be assigned to anyone just come just come up here come here and guard this bit all right i think that is enough orders given basically the overview is uh, we're going to try and shore up our defenses on this side. We're going to move Bustamante down here and give him some kind of new awesome plan of attack. Um, in fact, let's actually give him an actual awesome plan of attack. 
so that um, you know he um, he knows what he's doing, where he's trying to attack. Where are you trying to attack, Buster Manti? Uh, maybe just to try and cut this bit off here. So let's have him like attack up to this bit. There we go. Excellent. Good. All right. Uh, all of our troops are ready to rock and roll then. And so we're going to unpause it once again. Here we go. Time is passing. Our troops are maneuvering. The eggnog supplies are being eaten into or drunk into, slurped into possibly. I don't know if that's the correct verb or not when applying it to eggnog, but whatever it is, that's what they're doing. Uh, these guys here are currently being ordered to move away. Maybe we should just attack with them and see, like a sort of, let's just see what happens. Oh, it's not a good attack at all. Let's see what happens if we attack here with all of these. Oh yes, look, there we go. Now we've got a winning battle. Well, I mean, it's a balanced battle. Possibly not. A now it's a winning battle. We'll just put some stress on them and see what it does. See if it, like, you know, if it makes them drink ever more eggnog whilst, um, you know, the, the Mexican artillery shells with the painted smiley faces and flowers and things on them continue to rain down upon them um, with great vengeance and furious anger um, and, uh, and other such uh, uh, quotes from from famous movies um, and, and or religious texts. I mean, you know, let's not, let's not get picky here. Uh, how are our fresh troops coming in? Uh, looks like we've got a little while before we have any fresh troop deployments, but that's fine. Um, has Louis Farrell managed to redeploy along the border here? He's sort of doing an okay job. And the boffins have managed to perfect yet more and better undersea canoe technology in the form of uh, level three uh, undersea canoes um good all right should we um should we maybe get carriers i mean i know i've like it would take me like years to unlock all the carriers probably but well you know what not that much 44 days all right you know what we're gonna go down to frank frank down uh behind the shops in the car park we're gonna go and see him once again and you know we're gonna say frank you've done many many wondrous and great services for the might and glory of the mexican socialist republic but once again we need you to see if you can find um through your various contacts some form of um you know an aircraft carrier i mean it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be high tech once we've got an aircraft carrier to work with and by aircraft carrier of course i mean a canoe large enough for aircrafts to take off and land preferably um you know buck rogers jet um, it, or indeed rocket aircraft that would be awesome uh, but yeah if you can sort of find something like that that'd be great he reckons it, it's gonna take just over a month good stuff man good stuff all right fine um whilst that progresses and indeed time continues to progress do we have any other things that we need here we've got unread naval battle report we keep all sunk we've lost another convoy how many convoys do we have to lose here where are my planes why are my fighters not uh, out there doing the business there is a random uh, Brazilian infantrymen, various random infantry Brazilian Brazilian infantrymen wandering around in the Mexican Socialist Republic. Probably they're on holiday, you know, on leave or something like that. Uh, more unread naval battle reports. I did okay that. Thanks. It's okay these all. It's all okay. It's fine. Oh, I mean, we, lost, we lost the heavy cruiser. We lost the Pancho Villa heavy cruiser 3. Um, this is this is very bad. These aircraft are actually chewing us up right now. I, I would have hoped that our um, first canoe fleet of Mexico fleet convoy escort. Uh, let's get them onto search and destroy as well. We're gonna in, we're gonna take them head on. Take them head on. Um, good. Well, continue that progress. Uh, meanwhile, we have all sorts of shenanigans going on here. Look, we've actually won this little battle down here. Let's continue to crush these uh, eggnog troops, the, 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 the troops of the eggnog isles, or, or something like that anyway. Um, not very successfully, as it turns out. Uh, should we send someone else in? Should we send these tanks in? Think help. Also, our aircraft should be bombarding them from on high. We're still not winning at all, which is a bad sign. It would just be nice to clear this out and not have to worry about defending behind ourselves. Uh, and then we can continue to ship troops up here to uh, protect our lines. Because frankly, at the moment, we're in trouble. Where are we getting supply problems? Mexican theater, very low supplies. What? I got troops driving through the Amazon rainforest again, for, for some reason. Are these like troops that have come in from 
one of my allies? Yes, look, it is It is uh, troops provided to me by one of my allies, uh, possibly Paraguay, probably Paraguay, because, um, you know, they're great. Paraguay, were they, were they the original members of the um, Green Dawn? I think they might have been, you know. I think, obviously, their little wobble that they had with uh, democracy has been well and truly dealt with by our various spies and agitators and uh, political officers and other such people not to mention of course redoubling the number of Gallo Magna flicks that are shown throughout Paraguay to ensure that our cultural dominance cannot be questioned uh, by anyone or such look oh look we're actually being attacked here we're being attacked we're, we're being attacked and we're losing we've got more troops coming in in fact, they're nearly about to arrive. In they come. Yes, sure up our defences. Let's bring yet more in, as it seems like it may not be enough, because we're losing quite badly. I don't know where we're being attacked from. Are they, are they somehow attacking us from that island? Is that even possible? I'm not sure. But if it is possible, then it seems like they're doing it. Uh, it looks like the British, the British little section of the South Americas is about to fall the last territory in the hands of the imperialistic bourgeois uh, Britons, Britonians, uh, who are uh, renowned for their bourgeois natures and of course um, lack of uh, respect for small fluffy animals and other cute entities that the Mexicans value higher than life itself um which uh, which is good uh, how are things going down here it looks like our attack on this territory did it succeed i think it must have succeeded oh yes it totally succeeded let's have everyone move in and we'll crush the next one in line we seem to have an undefended territory here as well are they um is that because martin buster Man's troops are yet to arrive i think it might be in the meantime let's just move one troop down one troop down uh you guys can move up here uh, you guys, I think, are probably fine to just continue to defend. Otherwise, things are going well. Like, Gallardo clearly is in that hothouse, uh, getting into a crazy state. It's quite worried. I mean, I'm quite worried. Just look at the scale of these armies that are arrayed against us. And look at the thin purple line that separates them from what is now intrinsically Mexican land mexican soil the mexican soil of san francisco the state of california all of it now uh, thoroughly and um completely embodies the very essence of the mexican socialist republic and we shall not we shall not stand for even a single territory to be lost to the bourgeois elite. But look at them. Look how many there are. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. Gallardo, presumably, um, is in his little hot house drinking himself into a, another hypnotic state, like fully fueled up with tequila and Cuban cigar smoke. Um, and uh, 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 in fact, I'm hearing he is now he is now rocking back and forth and he seems to be chanting I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone, there will be nothing. Only I will remain. What this means? I don't know. I mean, who can say? Who can say what is going on in the legend's mind right now? I mean, behind that impeccably manicured mustache, that cocky grin, um, and that uh, just uh, very fine hairdo. Who can say? It's it's impossible. Whatever it is going on in there, though, it may just be the last hope for uh, the Mexican war effort. Anyway, look, let's unpause it and see if we can't deal with these Americans. Because if we can just just chop this lot off before they have a chance to uh, meet up with their friends and allies. That would be great, frankly. That would just be awesome. Um, and it looks like we're going to do it very, very quickly. Look at this. They have been encircled, and they are about to be destroyed. Ready? And they're gone. What is it about the Gulf of Mexico? Look. Naval combat in the Gulf of Mexico. Where is the naval combat in the Gulf of Mexico? We have an ongoing naval battle in the Gulf of Mexico. Paul Suarez is engaging Michael Hood of the Americanos. Um, he has a battleship, the USS Massachusetts, and indeed, uh, light cruisers 
and destroyers. We have many a destroyer. Many, many, many a destroyer. We also have many submarines, which is good. And we have a few heavy cruisers, uh, which are disengaging, apparently. Um, presumably because this battleship is very scary indeed. We really need our own battle canoes, don't we? I can't believe we don't have battle canoes at this point. Maybe I should see if um, Frank can get us a hold of some battle canoes whilst he's at it. Because, um, you know, uh, aircraft canoes, obviously fantastic. But, I mean, a battle canoe. You really can't argue with the, the sheer awesomeness of uh, battle canoes. So, um, yeah. Let's just continue. Continue the battle, my friends. Continue to wage the terrible war upon our various enemies until they have been completely overrun. Here, the eggnog has finally betrayed them utterly as they slowly stagger in one by one and are overrun. 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 Um, good. All right. Fantastic. Things are going pretty well. Uh, Gallardo Magnus must not fear. Chant is clearly emboldening his men in ways uh, that are just a strange and uh, bizarre mystery to all and sundry. Let's assign his troops to that border and let them uh, distribute themselves across it fairly evenly. And then, or indeed, in fact, to this attack order. There we go. Um, likewise, how are, our, how are our Gallardo troops actually doing? Our Gallardo troops are doing okay. Um, we can probably shift some of our strength because, in fact, you know what? We can shift all of our strength. We can just leave this border to Buster Manti, to bust the Mantis of the border, and we can pull our front line uh, back. That will allow us to refocus our strength here into the north, uh, protecting what Gallardo now considers to be a, a kind of a jewel, a jewel of the Mexican Socialist Republican crown. That is, of course, the reclaimed territory of California. He may even rename Hollywood to Gallardo Wood. I mean, what he'll do with the existing Gallardo Wood, frankly, I'm not sure. Maybe he'll just make Hollywood a kind of satellite of it, um, a kind of kind of suburb, you know? Uh, maybe, something along those lines, anyway. Who can be sure? Um, whatever that will be, though, it will be in an awesome and spectacular fashion, as everything that Gallardo Magno does is. Um, but it will also probably have to wait until next time, because now that we have overrun the Americans here and our troops are redeploying, I think we are in a pretty strong position to plan our next major offensive. We have two and a half nuclear weapons in the bank ready to attack the United States. In the south, we have managed to uh, overrun all of those nefarious European states have been expunged with the exception of this one French territory which we're going to send at Ramon Salas with his clownish ass kickers. So it should so be clownish ass kickers, shouldn't it? We're going to send him in uh, just to deal with them. Meanwhile, we are successfully repelling the United States from penetrating our uh, coastal border here. We might actually have to think about taking out some of these islands to give him to prevent him from having this kind of like launching off point i think that might be a sensible move uh, indeed possibly that can be ramon salas's next mission once he has secured the mainland um speaking of europe by the way i mean south america is now looking pretty awesome i mean how many of these states socialist republic of uh this is us <laughs> this is all us this is the mexican socialist republic i forgot that we conquered argentina um yeah we've got the mexican socialist republic in argentina we've got the brazilian socialist republic as our allies we've got paraguay as our allies we've got uh these people the bolivian is who are also members of the green dawn as our uh, allies uruguay i think are just kind of yeah yeah democratic your time will come, Uruguay. If you do not join us willingly, uh, then you will join us unwillingly. In fact, you know what? Should we um, should we start? I think we actually might already be boosting party popularity. We are. Look, Communist Party ideology is already up to 35% there. Um, when the time comes, we will stage a coup in Uruguay or possibly wait for a bloodless revolution. But uh, Or maybe we'll just invade them. I mean, you know, all of these things are, are definite options. In Europe, which we haven't looked at at all today, um, it, I mean, it's good. It, we're basically, we're allowing our territory, and by territory, of course, I just mean the German industrial estate. We're allowing the German industrial estate to be kind of a, a proxy location for the USSR to, to do its fighting with the Allies, which is at least keeping them off our back. It seems to be a fight they're losing, to be fair, and we will probably lose all of our German industrial estate before the battle is over. But 
Does it really matter? Do we really care? Uh, not particularly. We do have this one troop here who, who would be nice to bring home if we could, but um, I don't think we actually have a port. Oh, you know what we do? Is that a port? That might actually be our port. Let's send him to the port. He's going to have to fight his way through uh, this whole, like, you know, partly hostile and partly friendly territory to get to the port in order to be shipped over. But if he makes it that far, he will be known as a true legend and hero. Um, infantry Type 1. The hero, Infantry Type 1. His his story will go down in legend. It will probably have a Gallardo Wood movie made of it, and possibly even a series of movies. But uh, we'll have to see if he survives. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold your breath for it, though. I mean, we could maybe, like, make it more likely for him by not sending him through hostile territory. There we go. <laughs> there you go, matey. Uh, see if you can't arrive uh, successfully and be shipped over to the motherland in some future episode. But until that epic tale is at least expanded upon, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I have been Weird Wizard, and I will see you later.